Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Law & Order brought its Special Victims Unit to the small screen in 1999. 21 seasons later, the best part of the series is getting to look back on the big Hollywood stars that you totally forgot cameoed on the show. These are their stories. But you know the drill. Before we dive in, you gotta go down and hit subscribe so we can keep you up to date on all the major news in the land of television and entertainment. Let's kick it off with Hayden Panettiere. Way before she made it big in Heroes or Nashville, Baby Panettiere guest starred in a 2001 episode where she played Ashley Austin Black, a child of abuse and neglect. She reappeared on the series four years later as Angela Agnelli. She confessed to killing Dr. Derek Tanner in order to retrieve a tape that showed her having sex with him and her friend Lisa. Daddy, daddy! Abigail Breslin's cameo was a huge head-scratcher. The episode titled Birthright looked into the case of the attempted kidnapping of Breslin's character. This uncovered a fertility doctor's scheme to steal embryos. Zoe Saldana played Gabrielle Vega in a season five episode as the daughter of a convicted murderer. She entered the scene when the SBU team discovered that her dad was framed for murder and began using drugs again. Zoe's character filed a lawsuit against the NYPD seeking reparation. Consider yourself served. Pop sensation Hilary Duff appeared on SBU as a mom suspected of murdering her daughter. Turns out, the daughter's death was just a part of a measles outbreak. The 2009 episode came out just four years after the final episode of Hillary's TV series, Lizzie McGuire. Sabrina the Teenage Witch put away her spells and her cat Salem to appear in a season nine episode of SVU. Melissa Joan Hart played teacher Sarah Trent, who was accused of raping one of her students. The detective revealed that one of them was actually suffering from an underlying sex obsession. Amanda Seyfried popped up on the series in 2004 in an episode called Outcry as college student Tandy McCain. She was discovered beaten and bloody under a bench in a dorm building, claiming to be raped by three students. As the case progressed, the detectives were left with a crime far from what she initially described. Rapper and actor Ludacris played Darius Parker in two episodes, 2006's Venom and 2007's Screwed. Parker was the homicidal stepson of Detective Finn Tutuola, played by Ice-T. His character was on trial for murder and returned to the show because evidence used in the case was obtained illegally. Though it's not surprising since she's involved in so many projects, you might have forgotten Elizabeth Banks' cameo on the series back in 2001. She played a woman who helped solve a brutal rape and murder that occurred behind a gay bar. Paul Wesley of The Vampire Diaries fame showed up in SVU as two different characters before sealing the deal with the CW. Once in a season two episode and again in a season seven episode. Let me go. Get off of me. Speaking of The Vampire Diaries, bloodsucker Ian Sommerhalder popped in SVU in 2003 as a psychopath guilty of raping his brother and beating their father. Wow. A younger Sarah Hyland appeared twice on SVU, once in 2001 as the daughter of a suspected child abuser, and again in 2009 as a member of a competitive group of teenagers in the middle of the murder of a math prodigy. Jennifer Love Hewitt played a serial rape victim in the season 12 episode titled Behave. Despite widespread doubt, Olivia Benson helped her catch her attacker. Because Olivia Benson is great. Playing a role much different than Marissa Cooper from The O.C., Misha Barton appeared in a 2010 episode of SVU as a pregnant former sex worker. She gave birth prematurely and skipped town, leaving her baby in Detective Benson's hands. Full House alum Bob Saget appeared in a season eight episode as a jealous husband whose wife cheats on him with a married man. Surprisingly, Saget's character was not found guilty of murdering his wife or the guy she cheated with. Hmm. Sarah Paulson's first ever acting role was on the original Law & Order back in 1994. She returned to Law & Order SVU during season 11 as the daughter of a wealthy couple that was mysteriously murdered. Turned out she was involved in the death of her parents. I will kill you! I will kill you all! Henry Winkler appeared in a season three episode of SVU back in 2002 as a man who married a woman for her money and then tried to pass off her death as a rape and burglary. Comedy legend Carol Burnett appeared in a 2009 episode as Bridget Birdie Sullaway, whose friend died a long time ago, leaving behind a six-year-old son. Birdie raised the boy as her nephew. Turns out, the two are romantically involved and conspired together to kill her husband. What a story. One of the three amigos, Martin Short, starred in a particularly strange episode of SVU as a self-proclaimed psychic. He claimed to know the details of a young girl's death due to ESP. Okay. It was later revealed that he was the rapist who murdered her. Well, this was fun. Shocker. 
The same year she starred in John Tucker Must Die, Brittany Snow appeared in a season 7 episode of SVU as a bipolar teen who falsely claimed to be a rape victim. When the detectives found out she was lying, she became a danger to herself and the people around her. Walking Dead star Norman Reedus appeared in the same episode as Snow as a reformed rock star who encouraged her to go back on her medication after trying to kill herself. Deborah Messing of Will & Grace fame appeared in a season 12 episode as a TV host trying to get justice for her abducted sister. She received threats but was determined to help the SVU squad catch her sister's killer. A Star is Born actor Bradley Cooper popped in for a season 6 episode as a lawyer retained by Eleanor Duvall who handled her family's trust. Angela Lansbury played Eleanor Duvall and was the very wealthy mother of the accused serial rapist. Robin Williams had to have played one of the best bad guys the show had ever cast. Williams played Merritt Rook, an audio engineer who impersonated a police officer over the phone. He was charged with conspiracy to commit sexual assault, represented himself in court, and was found not guilty. I mean, it could be me or it could be juror number four. It's not me. Me either. <laughs> Modern Family mom Julie Bowen joined Luke Perry for a season 10 episode titled Trials. She played Gwen Siebert, a mother desperate to prove she was fit to keep custody of her son. Kathy Griffin appeared in a 2010 episode called PC as a very aggressive leader of a lesbian rights group, trying to protect her members from a rapist slash killer who she believed was targeting her organization. Milo Ventimiglia of This Is Us fame cameoed in a season 5 episode all the way back in 2003. Ventimiglia played Lee Healy, who testified against his stepfather 10 years prior, and the man was jailed for molesting him. His stepfather broke out of prison and kidnapped him in an attempt to prove his innocence. Wowza. You might remember Alec Baldwin appearing in an SVU episode back in 2014 as journalist Jimmy MacArthur. He was given full access to the SVU, which really complicated things as the detectives were trying to investigate a hate crime. A woman who needs no introduction, Whoopi Goldberg, played a supervisor in the Department of Child Services on the show in a season 17 episode. She became increasingly overworked and created false reports that her caseworkers were unable to complete their visits, leading to child neglect. The episode shined a light on a broken piece of the system. Everybody Loves Raymond star Brad Garrett showed up in a two-part season finale back in 2016 as a corrections officer accused of sexually assaulting women in and out of the prison. Oh. <laughs> Move it, move it. Go, now! It was found that his character was responsible for the death of SVU Sergeant Mike Dobbs, who was shot during a hostage situation. Then last, but absolutely not least, Uncle Jesse himself, John Stamos. The Full House star appeared on the show in 2011 as reproductive abuser Ken Turner. The serial baby daddy had over 20 kids. Dang, Stamos. Phew, that was a lot. But that's not even close to all the stars who have popped up in the series throughout the course of its 20-year run. Who was your favorite cameo? Let us know in the comments, and while you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on your notifications. That way, you can be sure you won't miss more videos like this right here on Cinema Blend.